Hey, my Saggies, how are you today? This is your February uh, 23rd through the 28th, so the end of February, <clears throat> final weekend of February, and um, we're looking at uh, Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. And uh, I want to, first of all, I want to thank you guys. I can't believe how this channel has grown so fast because of you guys. Um, I feel humbled and grateful and just a million things all at once. So I want to just tell you, thank you. Um, I also want to tell you that the Empress Club is growing, which is really cool. So Divine Feminines, if you want to join, we do a daily guidance read, which has been incredibly powerful for all of us. I mean, you know, I'm on this journey too. And if anybody tells you they've got it all figured out, you should run for the hills because no one has this figured out. And, you know, we're all sort of like working away together. Okay, so there's the Empress Club. There's a link down there if you want to join. I would welcome you with open arms. Divine Masculines, you're welcome too. Because this is a situation where you probably uh, don't know what's going on and don't know where to go. And this is a community of amazing people. Um, I also started a Facebook group and there's some people in there who are not really in the Empress Club in Vimeo. And that's totally fine because we want everybody to uh, benefit from the wisdom that you all are sharing. It's been really amazing. Also opening up private readings, there's a link below for private readings and I'm still working on getting the website up so that it can be a smooth, easy <laughs> process. Because um, <clears throat> right now it's kind of manual. You send me an email and I ask you a bunch of questions and you pay on Vimeo and blah, 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 blah. So there's a lot going on. So right now let's focus on Sagittarius for the end of February. The first two readings I've done, Leo and Gemini, are like, wow. So let's see what's going on for Sagittarius for the end of February. What's the deal? All right. There you are. <laughs> Yay! I love it when the Leo cards both showed up in their line in Leo, right? <clears throat> I love it when your cards show up because um, you're truly powerful. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Sag. I'm so happy I'm a Sag right now. Okay, so <laughs> there's a lot happening here. <clears throat> Your person is uh, unclear. <clears throat> Sorry, where's my water? Uh, your person has asked for you, though. Okay, your person has asked for you. So look at you. Look at you, Sag. Um, hermit. Spirituality has been an important thing for you, very important. You are <clears throat> in this sort of uh, seeking, maybe you have a guide. <coughs> Holy cow. Um, you're looking for some guidance here, obviously you're on this channel. So, uh, But this is more about you being a spiritual guide, you. Um, incredibly grounding, you are experiencing some new financial stability for yourself. You are experiencing a new blending of the earth-based uh, financial world with your spirituality. And this is becoming very successful for you. And you are moving toward uh, your uh, um, divine masculine, divine feminine partner in a very persistent consistent kind of way. Okay. <clears throat> so I see, I see Virgo there. I see Gemini there. Now the person you're connecting with, this is uh, interesting. They have three of wands. So they have asked the universe for you. They are waiting for the universe to deliver. <clears throat> They're feeling a little overwhelmed. No question. Um, and, but they're working on it. <laughs> they're working on it. It's like, it's like they've asked the universe and then they're still in the phase of transitioning from the material world to the spiritual world. You have been able to do this though. Look at that. You have been able to do this and you are ready. You're ready. You've made a choice. Commitment. You made a choice. Now, <laughs> uh, 
things are going to move fast. So fast that there's going to be some confusion. Okay? Someone wants answers. Someone wants some answers. Someone wants some clarity around what's going on. Okay? And then there's going to be some healing. Because the community... The conversation is going to be powerful. And it's not going to be um, delicate, okay? <laughs> not going to be delicate. It's going to be, well, let's ask, okay? It feels to me it's about a relationship question. Um... What is it about the relationship? <laughs> what about the relationship? Okay. Are they having to blow up another relationship to be with you? Are you having to blow up a relationship to be with them? It's going to be like straight up conversation about what are we doing? Strength card, Leo. Um, this is going to require some intestinal fortitude and truth. That's coming right out. Um, that's going to require some truth telling. It's going to be powerful, whatever is said here, because your person, they've asked the universe for this, but then it's like overwhelming to them. And they, they want to go back into this, like, can't we just go back to where it was easy? Like, can't we just go back to where I get to work, sh wax on, wax off every day? Why this whole spiritual thing? And you're like, I'm sorry, but that's where we're going. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry to explain this to you, but it is a little confusing. So you're going to have to take some time, okay? There's he a lot of healing here. Hermit, four swords. And there's choices being made, but you both know you're on the path here. Okay, your person is just a little less. I mean, the divine feminines really are leading the way. Okay, the divine feminines are leading the way. Mostly because we have each other to talk to about this. Right, and you're ready. The divine feminine has been ready for a while. The divine masculine is still a little bit unclear about what this is and it feels weird. Uh, it's not that they don't pray or they don't want this. They definitely do. It just feels overwhelming. So the truth, this came up in Leo. The truth uh, will set you free. The truth uh, is going to blow a hole in this, I think in a good way, and lead toward the strengthening of the relationship. <clears throat> You're going to lead, lead in that direction. It's going to be a healing thing. It may seem scary at the moment. But this is a healing thing. This Knight of Swords is not going to be delicate, but you can handle it, Sag. Because look at you. <laughs> you can handle it. Because you have achieved this level of spiritual leadership, and level of earth-based um, success, groundedness. So you're, do, you're grounding this spiritual connection for yourself, and you're, you're going, willing, you're willing to help your partner understand what this is. They're going to need some healing first, though. And frankly, so do you. I mean... There's no, we're never done. It's like <clears throat> in this Western world, it's all about taking a pill and it's gone, right? And then there's this other weird thing about like, well, only sick people uh, take pills. And if I'm not taking pills, then I'm not sick. Okay. You know, the backflips that the, you have to do to get into that kind of logic. The healing process here for twin flames, soulmates, spiritual warriors, uh, ascending the whole ascension thing, the whole uh, a spiritual awakening thing. is all about healing what's been going on for you your whole life. The way you've blocked love, blocked relationships, 
the way you have, um, you know, it isn't Rumi, right? Rumi says it's not about finding love. It's about finding the things that block love. That is the thing. So this is about relationship, but a lot of it is going to be a little bit of nuts and bolts, like how is this going to work? But then how are we transcending? How are we elevating ourselves into this spiritual place? Like, I don't get it. I'm a, I'm an earth-based person. And what are you talking about? And how can we just can't go to the movies? Like <laughs> we can, we can. Uh, but the truth is about of a spiritual nature, which is really going to open the eyes of this partner. They're going to see all the possibilities. Okay. They're going to see you grounded in your hermitness and your king of pentacleness and your queen of wands ness. They're still in this uh, earth-based stuff. You're bringing them along. Okay. Oh, so um, there's a link below to click for the extended read. We're going to see what you need to do here, how this plays out. We're going to get some messages from this person, what they need now from you to move forward. And then we'll see how the relationship plays out. We'll ask Archangel Michael for his guidance too. All right. Well, I will see you on the other side.